Hey everybody, Kenneth Russell here. I hope you're doing great. Today I'm gonna to look at this product right here. This is from Phoenix Pro. It's a wireless guitar transmitter. This is the PTG11. I'll put that right there so you can see it. Um, I got this, man, a couple months ago and I am just now getting around to testing it out. I haven't even opened it up out of the box. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do right now is open this up, show what's in the package and hook it up play with my Taylor guitar, my acoustic, to see how this sounds. This is actually, I think, the third or fourth PT or Phoenix uh, Pro product that I've demoed before or reviewed, and I really like their products. Seems like they're really getting the niche of like good quality products for the price point. All right, right here, I'm gonna open it up here. I don't know how well you can see all that there, but um, it's got a manual. It's got some antennas, power supply, USB cord. It's got uh, a just a quarter inch jack. It's got rack ears, so you can hook it up to um, a rack mount, which is, I think, where this thing shines. Here's gonna be the guitar part of the transmitter, and then here is the unit itself. Let me fast forward as I unbox all this stuff, and then we'll hook it up. All right, well, I've got it hooked up. I'm using a quarter inch cable hooked up to my Behringer XR18. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on. This is the PTG11. Um, you can see here, this is the transmitter. Let me turn this off for a second. You can see here it's got RF and AF, and I'm gonna turn it on. And as soon as it reads it, it's it's like full, full bars on there uh, reading this here. You can program this up to 100 different frequencies I believe is is what it said on the box so you know you can have multiple ones of these you know and fit into any system where you're not going to be overlapping frequencies and that kind of thing so that's very very nice to be able to program this into a lot of different frequencies also I like the fact that this has a USB charger here so when you know you just get in the habit of getting done with your playing or getting done with a gig or whatever and just charging this up. I actually have a lot of things on my pedal board that I, I USB charge. And so this is nice, just fits in naturally to that kind of USB charging ecosystem. So um, it's got a volume here. I believe this is what this is. And the power here on the side. Um, it will be able to use the IR2 to uh, set this, I believe, to a different frequencies. Um, let's just spin it around here to the back and I'll kind of show you what it's got on the back a couple things that I really like I'm not using this right now for this demo, but it has a balanced XLR which is Which is nice to have especially in a rack mounted uh, system And I'm going to use just the quarter inch out the, the cable that came with it It also came with a little adapter here. Um, I guess if, if you're recording into you know something that needed a eighth inch adapter um, it has two antennas. This is something that, that Phoenix Pro does that I really like is they do higher end things at the lower price point and an antenna like this is one of those things. It's interesting, there's higher, more expensive, I, I wouldn't even say higher quality, more expensive brands that sometimes will cut cost or dumb down their more entry level products by I've, I've even had some wireless products that didn't come with any antennas at all. They just, they're, the antenna is built into the case and I, and I have dropouts and things like that. I really like the fact that this is, is able to, able to be able to uh, use these antennas and they, they, they disattach. So you'll be able to hook this up to a, uh, an array system. If you have, you know, a lot of antennas going to like a big, booster antenna um, it's nice to be able to have these these threaded that you can you can hook up but I, I have not had any dropouts with any of the Phoenix Pro products that I've used that have had these antennas they're just very good um, so all right without further ado I'm gonna hook this up to my Taylor this is a KCE or 314 KCE and we're gonna hook it up I'm using the Behringer XR18 and I have not done this yet, so let me make sure that this is, is set up in here and good to go. Let's see, let me turn this back around so I can see. 
All right, so I've got this plugged in here. Let me just show you how this system works here. I'm gonna turn the volume on this down. Um, it's got a, a couple things that you need to know about it. Um, in order to set the frequency, uh, it came with the frequency already set, but you can hit set and it's got a couple different functions on here. Uh, the first is it's got auto channel function. So you hit set and then you press the up button and it's going to scroll through and find the best frequency that's available right now. And then I'll show you as soon as it finds that how to pair this up with the transmitter here. So before I think I was on like 903 or something like that, I'm on 911.750. So I need to pair this up with this. On the side here, there is like three holes here, and this is the where the IR reads. Now it came with this sticker on the side, so I had to pull that sticker off in order to, to get the IR to read. But if you hit set and then IR and you hit up, then actually you may not even have to hit up, but I just aim this right at it and then it tells the transmitter exactly what frequency you're on. So now we're paired up. So it's as simple as that to pair it up. Also, um, keep hitting the IR and you'll get to squelch and it's got nine different, you can go up to nine, one to nine. So you can squelch, which basically like hones in the frequency a little bit more. Um, so I think, I think the higher your squelch is turned up, the, the less interference that you'll have from different things. Um, and then you can also, you could manually set the channel too if you want to. Uh, it also has this uh, lock function, which is gonna lock the uh, frequencies, I believe, uh, onto this unit no matter what. So um, let me plug it in here, turn the volume up. Now granted, I'm, it actually says to be more than two feet away. I'm about a foot and a half away from this right now. Um, but I did notice one thing with it is uh, it has a, an automatic like compression thing. And I don't know if that's to protect uh, something on here. I, I've never seen a unit like this before, but if I turn my volume on the guitar, we're at a good, good amount here. But then if I play real hard, You hear that it, it, this mute comes on for a second and then it drops out um, all of my uh, all the sound so it's fine but if I really dive in there then it's not going to so uh, it's it's got like a, a, a there's there's a limit to the headroom I mean all you have to do is turn the volume down on my guitar now I'm, I'm in there just fine There you have it. Um, you know, I think that uh, this is a this is a great product for the price point. Uh, something that's rack mountable is just great to have, especially at this this price point with these two antennas here. Um, this is this is very 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 nice. Yeah, like I said, the only thing that that I would look out for is the the amount of volume that's coming, the gain coming from your actual instrument. Um, and I'm going to reach out to Phoenix Pro and ask what that, that mute function is. I played around in the, in the settings and I couldn't find it and I couldn't find it in the manual. So I'm not sure if that's something that I can turn off or on. I don't really know. Um, anyway, uh, this thing is for $139 on Amazon is pretty inexpensive for a wireless system, especially that it's, it's pretty well built and it has a, uh, wireless charging here so i mean that's just that's just very nice to have is the wireless charging like i said i think this is my uh this might be my fourth maybe even fifth product i know i've done a couple wireless microphone reviews for phoenix pro i've done a wireless in your headset that i really like um and i've done the, this one here 
they make pretty good products. They're, they're, they're right in that sweet spot of the, the good quality product for kind of the entry level price. You know, if you were to look at like Sennheiser or another, uh, another company that's something comparable for this, you're going to pay three or four times the amount of money. I'd easily, instead of $139 on Amazon, easily would, would figure for this, uh, if this was Sennheiser or Shure or something, one of the other, you know, the quote unquote big name companies would probably be around the $400 to $500 range for, for this quality. Um, so I, I'm, I'm really impressed with this unit. So hopefully this was helpful to you. If you're looking for a, a wireless guitar system, this might be an option that you look for, especially with the rack ears. If you're wanting something rack mounted, uh, this would be, be very, very nice. So anyway, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please hit a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, all that kind of jazz. If you made it this far, you're a rock star. I really appreciate you watching. Kenneth Russell out. I will see you in another video.